Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Welcome to My Time to Journal, an untrained person playing with lots of art supplies and having fun. Join me. We are starting the day off with a red sky reflecting off the lake. This is so pretty, but look at that little critter. That's the beaver. I saw him last night and I saw him this morning. He, You really can't see through the trees and I have my camera close up, but he's going into the neighbor's yard. You see that water pump? was right down in the left, the right-hand corner. That's where his cave is, and he goes under, and then he goes up into a hole that eventually goes uphill so that he can get into a dry spot, and he spends the day there. Um, and he went right under the water, right where that water pump is. Um, he is such a little stinker. I, as far as I know, he's by himself. I have not seen um, Mrs. Beaver um, with him. Good morning, good morning. But Happy... uh, I'm trying not to make you air sick or car sick, motion sick. There he is. He's coming around. You can see the trail behind him. Um, that's where he went under, too. Uh, I do not hear him flap his tail, so he's not angry or being defensive mode. You, you can see the ripples where he goes. Um, but there's another cave under that bush. So I think he came out when I wasn't looking and went back into the other cave. Maybe he needed to go to the pantry and get some breakfast. I don't know. But, uh, crazy. Wednesday to you, Tuesday for me. Um, I got my freckled fawn kit yesterday. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get this, except that I really love what they did. Um, they put a note in with the kits that said that there's no more backing paper like this, um, unless it needs it. Uh, because it adds to the weight and the shipping costs have doubled and tripled some places. Um, and they're trying to save shipping expenses. I get that. Um, I don't use the wooden veneers, although these are hearts. And they're really thin. They've gone thinner on their chipboard, which a lot of people have. Now Ally Edwards has too, which I like because it's easier for like Hobonichis and things like that. I don't always use these enamel dots. I might today, though. Who knows? The paper cane, which I love. There's some puffy letters, but barely puffy. I'm not into the puffy letters at all, but these are barely puffy, so these are useful for me. Now, I do love these. I love these tags of all these different colors. And they're, um, what do you, what did they, this is like their version of washi tape, but it's, um, they've had some ship, ship manufacturing issues because the manufacturers made it like this big. So they sent two sheets. I think now we're back to, or they sent four sheets. I think we're back to two sheets now. But I like these bright colors. This is their chipboard. Super thin. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. This is, I pay for this out of my money. Um, but I like this. Now, these are stickered. Allie Edwards hasn't figured out how to get her chipboard thin and stickered. Which I know there's humongous manufacturing issues going on all over. But um, I love this. The paper... I love, again, I love that. Oh, I love that. Really faint pastel rainbow. Um, I love the grid. I'm not crazy about this. This looks like grandma's wallpaper, which is not my style. Pretty, but not my style. I like this a little better. Um, I love the polka dots. And I like these, whatever these are. But anyhow, so, I like that they're double- Sided, and I like that you get two of each. I added some wildlife shot skin this morning. We, um, I saw the beaver last night and this morning. Oh no, I wrinkled this one. That's okay. It'll be texture. Um, my husband comes home this morning. He just left Charleston, which is like two hours from here. So um, he'll be home at noonish <laughs> or earlier. But the um, dog. Oy, oy, oy. All right, so today the word is root. Uh-oh, where are my letters? Where's my letter for root? Oh, there it is. All right, next week I got to make these smaller, but today it'll work been playing with this idea of uh, a logo. Um, I have my 4x8 and I've come up with uh, 
two years ago a logo um but really never saw the need to kind of do it um I still like that, but I've been playing with another one um, that could inc incorporate, not that I ever will do this, most likely. Speaking of achievements, Job's journal <laughs> was on the Howard Stern show. Now, I'm not a big fan of Howard Stern. He is very smart. This is a man in the United States that's very vocal and vulgar, and but he's come a long way. Taking yourself off drugs and alcohol helps, I think. So today the word is root, um, but he was on there. He was complimenting his journaling and he goes, he doesn't show his face. He is a great journaler. He's got lots of videos. He goes, I just found him on the YouTubes. I don't know how he got on Howard Stern. Plus he's going to do a class with Traveler's Notebook or Traveler's Factory. Oh, good for Job. Good job, Job. All right. So root. So anyhow, I've been playing with this idea of semi logo. Um, and I'm like, it's not really a logo. It's just my roots. My roots. And it's all the area codes that I've lived the majority of my life. California, Florida, here. Um, and I have to get a piece of paper out of the trash to make sure I do it right. All right. Let's see here. But I thought I could use this as the background of my root page. All right. So first was California. Then Florida. Then South Carolina, which actually the majority of it has been South Carolina. I grew up San Francisco area and that's 415. Lived in Florida for four years marriage number, a practice marriage. That was 904. And then South Carolina, 803 from age 28 on more than half my life. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Almost. Yeah. Oy, oy. Okay. So anyhow, I thought I might incorporate that into here somehow and then go for it. Um, I'm going to have to use something permanent. Actually, Sharpie will be permanent, right? It says permanent. Let's test it because I did something yesterday with something and it kind of moved. Okay, that's, that's permanent enough for me. So here we go with this idea. And, and I'm okay with it going into the yellow. All right. Now we're going to add color and go from there. All right. So now what do I do? I have these black numbers um, and I want to do something abstract. I'm going to try to um, just put an abstract paint picture, paint objects. The dog is crying behind me. Sorry. Abstract circles over these numbers. And these are my opaque um, not opaque, but gouache watercolor. And um, I've had these for a long time. I'm trying to use up some of the old stuff that I have, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah, the, the wildlife was crazy this morning. The dog misses my husband terribly, but luckily he called me and he's already on his way. Um, and uh, it's just, this dog is so incredibly spoiled. But it's part of the breed um, trait. They are attached to one human in the circle of your household. And speaking of circle, here comes some roots from the circles. And the top of the root ball right there. Um, all very abstract. Not sure if I like it really. But it's more circles, more abstract, and it's my roots. Um, this could have, could have gone in many directions. Obviously, that's what these prompts are for, to interpret it the way you see it. So I'm adding veins to the roots because sometimes life sends you down different trails and different vines of life. And that's kind of what these were supposed to be, like vines of life around my roots. I don't know. I don't know. 
abstract, abstract. Um, but it was fun, and that's the, the main goal. Um, and vine, vine roots even were added, and then more abstract num just just playing, just doodling on top of what I already have, and trying to make into something that I kind of like. Um, so far, I'm really not liking it, but it's okay. It's okay. I was trying to make those numbers kind of have so much stuff over them that they disappeared without using collage yet. I think next week I'm going to go into collage. Um, and I'm, I'm, ugh. I don't know why I'm making excuses for any of this. It's, it's a daily practice. It's a daily therapy. It's a daily challenge. And it's, it's attempting, it's a, it's succeeding with all of that. And I love that kind of process, uh, daily challenge, daily therapy, daily practice. Um, Sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't. And today is iffy, but we'll find out what happens tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.